The Wild Film Archive is a remarkable mixed media collection documenting the history of wildlife filmmaking. Amongst its highlights are over 60 unique oral history video interviews with presenters, producers, cameramen, sound recordists and composers. Television has been the, the, the visual medium uh, which has really dealt with natural history in an unparalleled way. And the coverage of natural history by, by television is, is one of its television's feathers in its cap, in my view. Amongst the pioneering productions discussed is BBC's Life on Earth, which was broadcast in 1979. So the problem was, how, what is this going to cost? You know, it's obviously going to cost a lot of money. What would be a realistic budget? And because nobody had ever done a series on natural history, although the Brodnowski and Civilization series had been done, you could plan those, you know. If you're going to film it in a museum, you know where it is, it's not going to move, you know how many days you're going to spend there and so on. With the natural history, it's different. During its three-year production, Attenborough and the crew collectively travelled one and a half million miles, visiting 39 countries and filming 650 species. They nearly lost the famous footage of mounting gorillas to the Rwandan army. We can't let them confiscate this film. We've been 10 days up the mountain getting all this, struggling around high altitude with heavy equipment in stinging nettles. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I thought, this is not on. So we, uh, Dickie, while well, John and David distracted the uh, security people, um, Dickie and me were changing the labels on the film. We were putting exposed labels on unexposed rolls. And, and then eventually we gave them the unexposed film, having hidden the exposed film. We're cataloguing and digitising these unique recordings, along with an array of other natural history broadcast material, production paperwork, stills and promotional media.